Today we're going to be talking about Windows login. Which is safer, a password or a PIN? My name is Steve, this is TQA Weekly, and learn why Windows Defender and Microsoft are absolutely wrong and how your account will be that more insecure if you are using a PIN. My opinion on this subject is to always, always, without exception, log into Windows using a password and never a PIN and don't even bother with Windows Hello and fingerprint detection. Those two also have weaknesses, which would be the PIN code. It is incredible to believe that Microsoft, after all these years, still believes they can push down this gibberish to people that actually know better. And I'm going to prove it to you from a sheer numbers point. A PIN code is only typically between four and six digits long. That is a problem. Which means your four digit PIN, which is 10 to the power of four, only has 10,000 possibilities. Because all you have to do is push up one and just continue from there and keep trying until you get into the computer. And if you were to go to the long side, which is six, then that's only a million. And in terms of passwords, a million possibilities is nothing. It's dust. It's not even worth talking about. So what were you going to do anyway? You have a choice between four to six digits. You're insecure no matter what you do. Now there's the option to use a pin code comprised of lowercase and uppercase letters and numbers. However, that only gives you 14,776,336 possibilities with four characters. So that would be 62 to the power of four. That is nowhere near as secure as you think. I know that sounds like a lot, but that's not a lot when we're talking about password security. And most passwords are eight characters long for a reason or more, and you definitely want more. An eight character password, meaning 62 to the power of eight is considered weak. And that still has 218,340,105,584,896 possibilities if we are only talking about alphanumeric characters, including upper lowercase letters and the digits of zero through nine. And the addition of special characters would make it that much stronger. And that is still considered weak at eight characters long. Which brings me to my ultimate issue with Windows. On most well-built websites, including my own, you have a finite number of tries before it locks up and no longer gives you access. We're talking something along the lines of 3, 5, 10 being the norm. Windows doesn't even do this by default. Even if it locks up, you can restart the computer and continue trying. And if you make every user use a four digit pin and call them secure, how long is it going to take somebody to steal the computer of someone and guess the pin code? The only type of securities that Windows should be focusing on at Windows login are finite number of tries, which are normally only possible in a business setting because it requires an addition of a setting to Windows, which is not on by default for any home user whatsoever, or they could try for once two-factor authentication. Considering that most people will turn on two-factor authentication given a clear instruction why, and considering that Microsoft has its very own two-factor authentication app, which is free, I still don't understand why Windows would go down the route of a PIN code instead of 2FA. Because 2FA and finite number of tries would make everybody's Windows session safer not just from brute attacks, but even viruses would not be able to guess the password without locking up the system. And that would make it safer, not their stupid pin code. So 
If you agree with me or like this episode, like this episode. Dislike it if you didn't. Share with those that you can think benefit from this. Comment down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any comments, suggestions for topics or anything else, go to tqwayweekly.com where you can see the show notes on this episode, pass others, find other ways of subscribing, and of course, email me directly using the form there. And of course, you can always ask your questions live while I stream on Twitch, usually every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern. Thank you for watching and goodbye.